Easy ATC QCW Mounting Kit Assembly and Installation To install the Rapid Change ATC to the Onefinity QCW system, we're going to need a few items. First is the ATC itself, then we have the work surface mount that's included, as well as the hardware for the work surface mount. We're also going to need a driver and hex keys or a hex key set, as well as a tool setter. And finally, the QCW mounting kit comes with this adapter plate, as well as two mounting brackets and the hardware that's necessary to attach those brackets to the adapter plate. We can start by removing the two QCW mounting brackets from the Ziploc baggie and the protective foam covering that they come in. Next, we can remove the four M5 by 8 millimeter flathead socket cap screws from the hardware pack that was included with the QCW adapter plate. Here you'll see we're lining things up so that we can make sure that we have our screws and our brackets in the correct spots and we're ready to attach them. When attaching the adapter plate to the mounting brackets, it's easiest to place your screws onto your hex key before placing it through the hole in the adapter plate. By doing this, it's easy to line up the bracket with the bolt. We can simply secure it in place and twist it to align the second bolt hole. Once we've aligned the threaded hole in the bracket with the adapter plate itself, we can place our screw, then secure it in place with a three millimeter hex key. With our first bracket completely installed on our adapter plate, we can simply place our screws through the top of our adapter plate and secure them to our mounting brackets using a three millimeter hex key. Once again, after we have loosely installed our first screw, we can realign our threaded hole on the bracket with the top plate. And when those are both aligned, we can place our screw in and secure it in place, again using a three millimeter hex key. With all of those secure, we can now move on to attaching our work surface mount to our adapter plate. Next, we're going to align our QCW adapter plate with our work surface mount using the alignment pins that are included. You'll notice that the section of the work surface mount that the probe mounts to is off to the left side here, and that is important. We're going to use the two one inch long quarter inch alignment pins, and these will go straight into our work surface mount. Once we've removed those alignment pins from the hardware pack, we'll simply slide them into place on the work surface mount. The first one will go here on the right side towards the end, and the second pin will go on the left side between the tool setter and the last hole. With the work surface mount still flipped upside down on our table, we can now attach our QCW adapter plate. You'll notice there are two alignment holes on the adapter plate as well that will align perfectly with the pins that we've installed just a moment ago. It may have just a tiny bit of resistance, but should press on fairly easy with a small bit of pressure. With our adapter plate and work surface mount now aligned, we can use the six included M4 by 25 millimeter flathead socket cap screws. We're going to place two on the left, two in the center, and two on the right in the countersunk holes on the work surface mount. We'll go back and follow that up with the 2.5 millimeter hex key to secure them in place. After attaching those two pieces, we can now attach our ATC to our mount. We're going to use the alignment pins that are pre-installed in the ATC to line up with the alignment holes in the work surface mount that we've used previously. We'll simply place this on top and push it down in place, making sure that our alignment pins seat securely into those alignment holes. With our ATC and work surface mount aligned using the alignment pins, we can now identify the holes where we're going to install our M6 by 35 millimeter screws from our work surface mount hardware pack. We'll place one of our M6 by 35 millimeter screws in each of the holes, then we'll follow those up and secure them in place with a five millimeter hex key. And finally, here we are securing those screws with our five millimeter hex key. You want to make sure that you do not over tighten these and strip out the mount. With our ATC now attached to our QCW mount, we can now shift our focus to our tool setter. We'll use the included M5 by 22 socket head cap screws to secure the tool setter to the mount. And here, all we're doing is aligning our tool setter with the mounting holes and using those M5 by 22 millimeter socket head cap screws and a four millimeter hex key to secure in place. 
Now that we have both our ATC and tool setter attached, we're ready to mount this to our QCW frame. In order to attach our QCW mount, we're going to push our MDF slats back after removing all of the screws from underneath the table. Once we've decided where we're going to mount our QCW ATC, we can remove a bolt from each of the T-tracks on either side of that location. We're going to reuse these bolts in the mounts to secure it to the QCW frame. And as I just mentioned, we are going to reuse these bolts, so we're going to go ahead and slide those bolts through the holes on each of the QCW mounting brackets. With our bolts placed through each of our brackets, we can now align them with the holes that we've removed them from and slide that into place. And finally, we can follow those up with a 5mm hex key to secure them in place. And lastly, we'll slide our MDF slats back towards the front of the machine and secure them in place using the screws that we've previously removed.